Hello everybody, this is Adam with Transparency Pro The Game Machine. Pardon this angle here. Try to find a good way to do this. I haven't done any videos for a little bit of personal stuff going on, so take a little break, but I got this in. Tales of Zidia 2 Collector's Edition. Wait a little bit to open this up because I just finished Tales of Zidia last night, um, which was on a Saturday night. Um, so, you know, I was waiting to finish that before I opened this, so... Yeah, and you guys get to see it here. I'm sure you've probably already seen other unboxings, but you have not got to see unboxings with this face. Pointing a knife at myself. Real menacing. I'll cut your hair. But, yeah, also probably the most creepy unboxing that you've seen. So let's go ahead and dig right into the contents. Using very dull scissors. I think I just need to get it started and then the rest is easy. Oh my gosh, this is a big box. I hope I don't damage the box. Because the box is probably going to be worth a bajillion dollars. Not really. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Okay, we have taken the condom wrapper off. As you can see, it's a pretty big box. I will do some other shots closer up here as I'm talking. Um, tell Cecilia. Um, thing on the back here about the characters and the cast. The power of choice. Every choice can change the future. Return to Olympus and Riza Maxia one year after the events of Tales of Zillia with new friends, familiar faces. Shape your own story and relationships. Decide the fate of the future. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Wow, that's deep, deep stuff. Yeah, so if you haven't played Tales of Zillia, I guess you probably shouldn't play Tales of Zillia too yet. Um, I do recommend Tales of Zillia 1. Um, fantastic game. Fantastic game. I may actually do a little video on it later. Talking about what I thought on it. Maybe not a full review, but something. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, okay. Ooh, we got some contents inside. Let's, let's see what we get in here. Um, let's just set the box down for dramatic effect. Okay. First of all, we get this little plushy kitty thing. It's a plushy kitty cat. Let me take it out of its wrapping. It's a very plushy kitty. It's got a little thing where you can hang it from your car window if you want. And be like, look at my cute kitty cat. Meow, 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 meow. Where's my meow mix? So you get a plush kitty cat. I believe his name is Rollo. Um... Let's see, does the box tell me what his name is? Rollo, yep. Rollo plus charm. Oh, there's something really fancy. I want to save that one for a little bit. Um, of course, ooh, got a hardcover art book. Uh, tells of Zillia 2 art. Um, yeah, I'll probably may flip through some of the pages, but you guys get a sneak peek of it. That's kind of cool, a little mini art book, but it's actually hardcover, which is fantastic. That's just awesome. Uh, what else? Oh. Well, hey, what the heck, you know, there's a video game inside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what, let's go ahead and open the video game. I know, usually, of course, the reason why you buy these things is to play a video game, but, but people want to watch this video because of the platforms. I'm using my teeth because I don't want to scratch the case because I'm that kind of a collector. Like, you must not damage the goods inside! No! <laughs> And probably the weirdest unboxing you'll ever see. So here's the cover, Tales of Cecilia 2. In the back, I know the retail version actually has the black. I wonder if this is a reverse cover. I might have to, it does have a reverse cover, but it's definitely completely different. Um, try to make sure you don't see the delicious codes. If there's any codes for this. There's supposed to be some codes, I think. Yeah, it's not here, I guess. But yeah, I'll show, I'll show off this here. You know, there's the disc. Like I said, I'll be doing some close-up stuff, so you'll probably be seeing it while you hear myself talking. And then, of course, the power of choice! Because choosing is power, and power is choosing. Okay, next up. Ooh, I love these. I never get these, but Steelbook case looks really fantastic. Tales of Zillia 2. I will probably be putting this disc in here. It's really fantastic. I love the artwork on it. I'm going to open up the case so you can't see it. Okay. Normally I would just like 
put in the codes after I do the video and then be like, hey, but you know what? I'm not going to, and, and one of the reasons why is because PSN's down right now as of this recording. Um, a lot of stuff going on with that. Yeah, this is the Collector's Edition DLC thing. Like I said, you're not going to get to see the code. Oh, also on the back of it, track listing. So that's pretty cool. Um, spot for your disc. And what do we got here? Tales of Zillia 2 music selection, which is what that one thing was. So that's pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is a fancy little box, isn't it? Let's go ahead and take it out and see what's inside. Oh wow, there we go. Nice Tales of Zillia thing on here. Um, really, really nice. A little scuff, I just wiped it off. Alright, oh, there's a warning on the back. <clears throat> this product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer. What the hell are you trying to do to me, Namco? You're trying to kill me in the state of California? See, everywhere else this doesn't like hurt anybody, but if you're in California, you're screwed. So if you bought this and you live in California, you're in trouble. But yeah, what is this? Um, radioactive time juice? Mm, okay, so far. Mm, got a little, little pouch baggy thing. Okay, it looks like something's supposed to go in this. Um, choking hazard warning, very important. We don't want people to choke on their collector's editions. Choking hazard, small parts for ages 13 and up. So if you're 13 and up, it's choking. Choking hazard. I read that wrong. Anyways, also customer service numbers, blah, blah, blah. And what you get is a beautiful looking kind of pocket watch type thing, which is apparently a significant item in the game. Um, let's go ahead and I'll take off the, I will, I will, I will totally, totally rip off this thing here. But man, that looks nice. I wish it was a working watch. I don't think it's a working watch. If it was, that'd be even better. Can't get this plastic off here. Ah, I'm grabbing the wrong end. There we go. And now, if you push the, I think you push the O oh button open. Is that how it works? What is it open? Oh, okay. You push the button open. There you go. Yeah, it's not a working clock. It is a mirror. That's still pretty cool. Like I said, I'll do close-up videos of it and stuff. Yeah, it has the little design on the front. Tells the Zillia 2 in the back. Uh, it's pretty beautiful looking, actually. So it also comes with the little pouch thing. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, and looks like there is one more goodie in here. Okay, I don't think it'll come out. I think it's stuck. Ah, here we go. We got a figuring. This is Luger Kresnik, the new protagonist in this game. So let's have an unboxing of this unboxing. And of course there's tape on it. There's always tape on everything. It's almost like they don't want people to get in this stuff. I'm gonna ruin the value of this thing. inside. What am I saying? Okay. I'm gonna look inside the box. It says something in there. It probably says Tells Azilia 2. Nope. It says Luger Bill Kresnik. Bill. I think it says Bill. Oh. Anyways. He's Luger Kresnik for sure. Alright. Let's free you from your prison. I said I'll wear it. Now, for your viewing pleasure, it is Lugar von Kresnik. Actually, it's Bill Kresnik. Whatever. So, yeah, this detail to the statue is just awesome. I'm looking at it right now. It is freaking beautiful. The statue. He's got his own little pedestal with the um, Tells of Zillia 2 symbol. He's got this little feather thing here. Um, he's got his blades. Pretty awesome looking statue. I kind of love the detail of this kind of thing. So, yeah, this is pretty awesome. So, this is this, all these. This is what you get 
with Tales of Zelia 2, the Collector's Edition. Yeah, it's a little sloppy, but you know what? Better than not doing it. And anyways, guys, yep, that's pretty much it. So, got any other questions, concerns, want to know about the game? I'm, I may do something on it. I'm not, like I said, I'm still on a little bit of a hiatus, but I wanted to at least do this and show this off. So, so guys, till next time, game on.